attention to all the residents of Oasis Springs County Jail. Today, we're having a new member join us. She's just as bad and botched as the rest of you, so give her a warm welcome and don't beat her ass so hard. Hi, thotties, and welcome back to my crazy ass channel. And welcome back to the real housewives of windenburg okay like i said i took a huge break from the series because i was bored but i'm back and i have so many fun crazy ideas starting with the jail okay in the last episode morgan sinclair got caught murdering someone just so that she could be sexy again and let's see are you sexy again what do you look like bitch i'd say she is sexy again okay she doesn't have that dick nose anymore and she got a little bit more bone in her nose it's not as botched so oh she's hungry too bad bitch you're in jail you killed someone you're gonna have to wait let's go ahead and put her in her little jumpsuit oh my god let me see bitch change <laughs> oh she's pissed She's like, oh, I cannot believe this. How the fuck has this happened? I don't know what I can do. All I did was kill multiple men for wealth, money, fame, and good looks. I don't deserve this. And honestly, bitch, I'm kind of with you. You don't deserve this, but I just like to torture my sims. Anyways, I'm probably going to leave her in here for like, what? Three, four episodes, some shit like that. Is that a fucking crow? What the fuck was that? Anyways, we have some other prisoners, which she'll probably get to know. Oh my God, she looks mean. I wonder what she did to get in here. Oh my God, I bet it was bad, but she kind of looks like she killed a boyfriend too. So maybe we can be friends with her. She, I feel like she got involved with like a scam or something. Like, I don't know, she oh. hacked people's wallets Oof. and like stole credit card information. Oh yeah, this is what the jail warden looks like. I had to make a sexy stripper cot because you know, I had to make it all girls and why not give her a sexy twist? Like what's wrong with that? And then we have, her over here who is fine i don't know what she did we'll say bank robbery that kind of makes sense and then lastly we have this bitch who deep fried a dick and ate it <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna let morgan stay in jail for a little bit let's go ahead and unlock the door and have her go ahead and meet the warden let's compliment her body and try to go ahead and get her on our side okay we want to be let out as soon as possible so we have got to be on our best oh, behavior awesome. let me let everyone else too i really hope a fight doesn't pop out but all of these sims have traits that make them like mad and shit so <laughs> things probably gonna fucking happen but yeah we're just gonna keep being like a kiss ass pretty much and um i think i want her to go talk to her and see if we can form a little bit of an alliance. See how this girl feels. Wait, is her last name bit? Oh, Bach. Okay, excuse me. And we'll just get some tea. She'll be like, oh, darling, if you handle me, I'll pay your bill once I get out of here. Is that okay? She'll be like, I'm looking for a new daughter because my daughter hates me. But if you're going to be my daughter, you've got to lose a little weight. You're getting a little chunky. Oh my God, she's screaming at her. Bitch. Hold on, I said I didn't want to start a fight, but now I have to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bitch, you have to smack her for that. You need to. Smack her. Like, smack her ass like a drum. Just beat her up. You're already in jail. What's the worst thing that could fucking happen? She just picked on your fucking weight for no reason, and she wants to mother you. You don't deserve that shit. You're your own woman. That's right, bitch. No one can fucking save you in here. You're getting your ass slapped back and forth. Oh my God. The warden's like, ladies, ladies, if you're going to slap, go ahead and do it a little bit harder so I don't have to do my job. Should we jump her? I feel like Morgan kind of deserves it for all the shit that she's done to Davina, her daughter, everything. I'm going to have Miss Girl over here go ahead and punch her. Let's see. Oh God. Oh, oh shit. Oh my God. Wait, I need to get a screenshot. Let me go ahead and fix this camera angle. Oh, shit, that looks hard. Okay, I think now she knows not to mess with any of the girls in jail and she knows that this is real fucking life. She can't pay her way or bribe her way out of everything because these ladies have nothing to lose, okay? Most of them are here for life and they just wanna have fun with it. You passing out, bitch? You passing out? I think you should just go back in your stall or your cell if you're being honest. I'm just gonna have her go ahead and take a nap and we're gonna leave her here, okay? Okay, we'll see you later, Morgan. Have fun in jail. Okay, you guys. So we are in the young adult household. And poor Brandy is very dehydrated. I guess from the New Year's party, they didn't get a lot of sleep or anything like that. So I'm going to have her go ahead and grab a drink of water and then maybe clean up a little bit. Actually, I can just help her clean up. Let me just throw that in there. And 
You guys, why are you crying? Are you okay? What the hell is going on? Oh, she's on her period. Okay, makes sense. So we are here with little Mackenzie and I realized that I'm stupid as Mackenzie's a boy. Okay, I've been calling her a baby girl this whole time when Mackenzie is a boy, you know, my bad for pushing that gender role norm. I'm so sorry, but yeah. So she's on her period. I'm gonna make her go have a bubble bath so that she feels a little bit better. And I think I want Brandy to plan them some sort of girls vacation just because they've all been going through a lot, okay? They've been going through a lot of shit lately and a girls vacation could solve everything or maybe not even vacation. I was planning on taking them to San Mayjuno, but I don't know. We'll see. Hey, Marie, I wanted to do something. Oh, let's go get our makeup done. That'll be fun. Um, and then we'll have an hour to plan. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have class today. What? Two days from now? 24 hours. Okay, well, this class schedule is all over the fucking place. So I'm just going to have her plan some sort of girls activity. Um, I think that'll be fun. And we can get like a babysitter or something. She's just getting ready. I guess she'll go get her makeup done and everything. So let's see what type of activity that we can pick. Okay, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm just going to go in the gallery and see what lots are popping right now. And I just want to have like some type of activity, like either it's the ma, the movies, some shit. I just want them to go somewhere. Hollywood Boulevard retail. Oh my God. Make sure you bring enough money. Luxurious shopping awaits you. Okay, well, honestly, that didn't take a lot of persuasion. Bitch, we're fucking balling. Let's put it right over here. Oh shit, that's way too big. But you know what? I just want to leave it um, in San Mayuno. We'll place that over there and get there soon enough. Okay, in the meantime, I just clicked on Dylan's household and he's crying. What the hell happened? Oh my God, someone died? Oh my God, I guess he had a friend pass away. That's really sad. Let's get rid of this red lighting, sir. Okay, let's just go ahead and make it back to like this kind of cool color. We'll just go like that. Maybe make it a little bit more dim because Dylan is actually going to go ahead and invite Carla to come and move in with him for a little bit. She's a young adult as well now, and it's time that, you know, she gets so the university experience. So she's probably just going to live with Dylan on the couch for a little bit. Oh, my God. And Brandy's here, too. OK, what's up? Come on in. Yeah, come on. Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out a bit? Of course, of course, of course, with that beautiful bob. Brandy is just, oh my God, all her outfits are so cute. I wish I could dress like this, but is anyone else just stuck in their like 16 year old outfit? I don't know. Oh, what's wrong, Perla? Wait, she looks so awkward. Are you still a teenager, by the way? Yeah, she's still a teenager. Hey, we got to age this bitch up. Let's go ahead and do that real quick and give her a sexy young adult makeover. Bye. Okay, and age up. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this Kuno. is Perla. Obviously, she is a alien. Uh -huh. I almost called her a vampire. Whoa, this color looks beautiful on her skin tone. I don't know if that's what I want her to wear, but let's just take everything off for now. And okay, I want her to have something kind of spunky you know what i mean like i feel like green hair always looked really good on her what screams alien like i've never met an alien before bitch i want to though like you can go ahead and probe me all night long whatever you need to do but i've never met one so i don't know how their hair is wait this is kind of cool miss ponytail wait we could do this purple and pink that's really cute. And then obviously we need to give her some long ass lashes so that she can reach fucking outer space with that. Demon eyes? Why fucking not? Okay, they're gonna look sexy on her. Make them nice and pink. Not pink, I like the infection though. Just, you know, pink. And then some smoky look. I think that might be really pretty. Where's the smoke? Ooh, that's really cute on her. And then just some lip gloss to match. I feel like she looks so much more mature and she looks like she could kill the whole town, <laughs> which is terrifying, but I fuck with it. Should I do the e-girl blush? No, 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 no. I don't like that. Wait, I kind of fuck with this. Okay, in the blue. Should I just do everything monochrome or should I make it pop? You know what? Maybe let's go with the black. Let's make her ambitious. Because that's kind of how her family raised her. Oh, be super smart and not take anyone's shit. So perfect. Okay, so Perla will be living here for a little bit. How hungover are you, bitch? Oh, she's so hungover and she's actually really sick too. Should I just make her go to the hospital? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's very medicated. Let's go in and talk to Mr. Dylan, who is fine as fuck. Oh my God, he's so cute. 
and let's ask about food, all that stuff. And then he's like not dealing with anything because he's so sad about his friend that died. I really wanted them to fuck because sometimes that's the best, you know, medicine. Sometimes the best way to deal with shit. Aw, Dylan's feeling so bad. Let's try to cheer his ass up. Be like, it's okay, Dylan. I'm here for you. You know, we are together now. We're roommates. Everything's going to be just fine. So are you single? And of course, Dylan being a newborn fuckboy, he's going to say, yeah, I am single. And wow, Perla. You really Dom's threw into Luna, your look. Okay, you used aga, to look aga. like just this blue bitch. Zarba. Marie, go the fuck away. Stop being dramatic. We're trying to do something, okay? I will play with you later, bitch. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear at her, but like she always has to insert herself. Wait, is he? I think he might be. Oh, now he is. Wow. Oh, okay. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Alexa, make the lights red. So back to what I was saying, Dylan. I'm no longer a teenage girl. No, I'm a grown young adult woman and I've always had the hots for you. And you'd know that because I flirted with you many times and you always rejected me. This time I feel like it's different, right Dylan? You know, it's just two young adults having fun. No high school gossip, no drama, just me and you. And we're roommates now, Dylan. We have our secrets. <laughs> and he's like, yes, the fuck we do. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. So basically the tea is that Perla and Dylan are gonna be hooking up in secret. They're not gonna tell any of their friends because one, it's no one's business. And two, I feel like they would totally start something. Oh start a fight dylan's also gonna be seeing multiple girls at the same time like obviously he got kayla and when he goes to class and everything he's gonna be flirting okay he is going to be flirting a lot the thing is that perla definitely has feelings for dylan and she's definitely feeling him right now <laughs> like she is enjoying this moment but dylan is not gonna want to do it let's have them get something to eat we'll go hang out with his brother after Typical fuck boy, you know, hit it and then dip out. He's literally like, when I bust a nut, I don't ever want to cuddle it. So Perla's going to be all like, oh, that was so much fun, Dylan. You're so sweet. Just stay in the bed. And he's like, mm, I got to go. That was really nice. Thanks for lending your pussy. Bye. And yeah, that's basically the dynamic for now until someone gets fed up and really upset. But let's switch back. Okay, so it is almost the nighttime. I am going to have the girls go out to that shopping district and have some fucking fun why is this a park it's literally supposed to be retail but like okay i guess go off and that'll be fun so marie definitely knows about her mother because you know they got media and everything it's definitely on the news right now especially the fact that she's a celebrity paparazzi are eating that shit up so she might get stopped by the paparazzi over here and like asked to comment on everything <laughs> You know what? Let me give her an extra celebrity level just so that um, it's a little bit more realistic. Maybe Marie should be an actress and like actually be a good celebrity that doesn't like fuck with people like her mom. You know, stuff like that. So, oh, this is really cute. Who are you? Oh my God, that's Kayla, AKA Dylan's little girlfriends. Oh my God. Let's go ask her for a selfie and be like, oh my God, Dylan like talks about you like all the time. Can I like take a picture with you? Oh, and then we can be messy and go over to Dylan's and be like, oh my God, Dylan, I like met your girlfriend and then like show Perla and start a fight. Yes, I'm so messy. Okay, like get the picture, Marie. Come on. Oh, they're both cute though. Oh, wow. Look at this in the background. That actually looks so cute. Like, look at this. <gasps> Not the Sims team snapping on San Maishuno. Like, I'm sorry, but San Maishuno is the most beautiful beautiful fucking world who is this child what the fuck okay anyways why are you so embarrassed brandy what's going on oh she's feeling a little bit shy because there's so many new people around but that's okay i kind of just want them to go shopping have some fun okay this is a little bakery oh this is so cute wait they should go sit together up there and just like talk shit basically we need to get some fucking food. Like, there's literally nothing over here, but they're just gonna talk. Whoa, I don't know what that was. And she's just gonna be like, so I'm so proud of you, you know? You're being an amazing mother. And it's almost Wingle Mackenzie's birthday. Tips. We can celebrate hey, soon. Mama. Are you feeling good? I'm so What's proud up? of you. What's Everything up? that you've done so far, you've grown so much, Marie. You're not that crazy wild bitch anymore. And I'm so happy. <laughs> Aw, they are so cute. Um... A lot of you guys still ship them together and you want them to end up together at the end game and 
I don't know. Stop. Never know what's gonna happen. Bob, Does Brandy have any love Seen interests still? I mean, she has Julian, right? Oh yeah, she has Mr. Hoy Wade, Tom the sugar Evans daddy. Evans. She needs to send his ass a text and maybe tell Marie and be like, you know, classes have been pretty hard lately, but I'm so glad that my sugar daddy is paying for everything and I don't have to bother my mother at all. I'm so happy. Who is this little bitch? Like, oh my gosh, she's a fan. Okay, well, let's be nice to her. <laughs> Even though I just called her a little bitch. We'll go sign an autograph. She's just taking her mom's spotlight at this point. She'll be like, you want an autograph? I got you. <laughs> Don't even worry. Yeah, she doesn't want it. Oh, that's fucking awkward. She's like, oh, I thought you were your mom. <sighs> bitch. That's right. I'll call you a bitch. And what about it? I'm sensing another sugar daddy. Let's go over to the bouncer and give him a friendly introduction. Did he just growl at her? What the fuck? Okay. I'm going to have Marie go in here. I'm pretty sure she'll get through because of her celebrity level. I just want to check. I want to see if Brandy will be able to like seduce her way into like getting in because of the bouncer, you know? <laughs> We'll go watch the movie. <laughs> Let's give him a bold pickup line because, you know, he's a sugar daddy. He's somewhere in his 40s and we need as many old men as we can. This would be cute. Sugar daddy. Do I still have the sugar daddy mod? Sugar life. Ask about sugar partners. I want to be your sugar baby because look at your body and your muscles. Why is he screaming? Whoa, are you okay? Oh, he's mean. Oh, I like a mean though. Okay, well, let's see if he'll let us in. He better. Bitch, we seduced, we seduced you. <gasps> what? It's three-star celebrity. What? Okay, well, I'm cheating. Go on in, Brandy. Have fun. Okay, she made it in. We'll just say that she was Marie's plus one or whatever, and they're just going to watch this movie. And Marie, baby, you need to change your tampon because you stink. You really do. Okay, let's just remove her period, honestly. Okay, let's have them just sit together, watch this movie for a little bit, and... We'll make it back home. Brandy's gonna be texting both her sugar daddies the whole time and they're watching a black screen. Okay, just pretend they're watching it. Oh, she gushy my pussy. He wanted to take him a licky. Okay, so we just got home and as you can see, there's lots of people over here. This big titty bitch is over, but we want to go ahead and celebrate baby Mackenzie's birthday. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a birthday party, family gathering, all that. So can I throw a party this late? Please, Sims team, tell me I can. How do I do this shit? Plan a social event. I want to see Mackenzie age up. She's going to be so cute. Okay, look at her stunting for the birthday party. Oh my God, Justin, looking cute. Okay, um, her stepfather is asleep. <laughs> it's okay. So, Marie, are you happy? Your little baby is going to be a little toddler. Oh, and there's so many people. I hope you guys brought presents. Miss, I wear every single outfit. Oh, wait, this is our friend from university. Let's go talk to her. And wait, is there like fireworks outside? What the fuck? Okay, we'll just pretend that they're celebrating for the baby. Marie's so fucking rich that she got fireworks up in this hell. And let's age him up. The little baby's gonna be a little toddler. Mackenzie. Oh, one, two, three. Okay, well, I guess he's going to be an independent toddler. Oh my God, what the fuck? What the fuck is wrong with him? What the hell? There's something wrong with the baby. Oh my, Marie, what did you do? Oh no, he's perfect. He's okay. He's fine. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, well, Lil Mackenzie has aged up. Uh, what the fuck? Bro. I hate it. Why does he look like that? Marie, <laughs> is this like some new type of like carrying a baby? Let's just put Mackenzie down, okay? There should be like other toddlers in here that he can interact with, as in like Davina's kids, unless they didn't show up. Aw, I think they didn't come. Aw, okay, well, we're just gonna talk to our friends over here and just be like, so how's college been going? How's OnlyFans doing too? I heard you're making a lot of fucking money on that. I see you on my fucking Simstagram, bitch. Keep your clothes off, it's so cute. And let's ask her about her income because I kind of want Brandy to start an OnlyFans, if I'm being real. There is an OnlyFans mod for Sims and I feel like she would do so good at it. Marie with her baby. Wait, are you the baby daddy? No, Justin's not the baby daddy. Who is the baby daddy? He's still a teenager, so it's all bugged out. I'm working on my income. Okay, let's just pretend that she said I'm making a shit ton of money, okay? Yeah, this is so cute. We'll just pretend that everyone brought presents for Lil Mackenzie and let's go ahead and edit him and create a sim. I just want to see what he would look like. So everyone get the fuck out. Okay, so this is little Mackenzie Sinclair and 
He is so cute. He's freaking adorable. Okay, everything's like broken and I don't even have a lot of toddler CC. Um, maybe I'll just put him in like this hair. Is that cute? Okay, I'm totally gonna go toddler CC shopping after this. Oh, I need to get him like something for his lips because they look so dry. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so cute. A onesie or something to go to sleep in. Oh my God, my baby fever bitch. My baby fever bitch. Ah, this one's so cute. Bear hugs for daddy. No, our daddy is never around. Mommy's little tiger. That's cute. We'll do that one. Let's just say that Brandy got some new OnlyFans clothes. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. This is cute too. Okay. Now I just need to check to see if she has any homework to do and then we'll be all good. Oh my gosh. She has a lot of homework to do actually. So she's just going to do that for a little bit. Is Mackenzie all good? I mean, there's like mad adults in here. So I'll just go ahead and speed through until the morning and then talk to you guys. Oh, look at this. Mackenzie's first bubble bath. He is so freaking cute. You guys, I can't deal. They are just adorable. Oh my God. Did you finish your homework by the way? Oh, she's almost done. Oh, she looks like such a little professional. I love it so much. She is so cute. I think I'm going to go ahead and end off right over here. Oh my God. It's such a beautiful rainy day in San Myshuno. I love it when the city starts to rain. Like it is just beautiful, gorgeous and everything. So thank you guys for watching this video and thank you for sticking with me. Hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you want to see that happens in the next part. I feel like it's going to get pretty crazy. Thank you all so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow and goodbye, buddy.